Hello and welcome to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Masticode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at slicing in Python 3.7. And what slicing is, is it's very similar to indexing, which we looked at in the previous tutorial, where we got a single character from a uh, sequence of characters, in which is referred to as a string in Python. In the in today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and get a range of characters versus a single character. All right, so that's what slicing is. Before we jump into slicing, let's go ahead and just refresh our memory on indexing. So I'm going to assign A to represent a string object in memory, just like that. All right. <clears throat> now I want to go ahead and get the second character. The second character is at the index position of number one. The first character is index position number zero. Uh, if you guys did not remember anything from the previous tutorial, at least I hope you remembered zero is the first index position. All right, so let's go ahead and get that first character, or the second character, I should say. We want to get T, so we're going to go ahead and get T like that. So that's indexing. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at... Um, slicing all right so we're gonna go ahead and if you guys just saw what i did i pushed up on my arrow key on my keyboard and i can bring up the previous um, commands in the interpreter so i don't have to type this out every time all right anyway let's go ahead and get ring i want to get r-i-n-g and return that all right so we can't use indexing to do that because indexing if we say, all right, I want R, and I say, all right, that's my index position of 2, I'm going to put 2 in here, it's just going to return R to me. But I want to get the rest of it. I want R-I-N-G to the end of the string. So the way I do that is A square bracket, uh, 2, colon, and then close out the square brackets. Colon indicates to Python that, hey, we want to slice. And since we don't provide a ending index position, which this is a starting index position, ending index position it's going to go ahead and return all the way to the end of the string so if i hit return i'm going to get r i n g all right that's pretty cool right now i can start really messing with some strings and slicing them up all right let's go ahead and get the um, um let's get s t r i n from uh, the string so i'm just going to push up and bring up string again even though i'm not changing this because if i call a and then I modify it with something like this, and I call A again, I'm not modifying it, all right? I am just calling it just for, so it matches up on mastercode.online, our written documentation of this tutorial. All right, anyhow, let's go ahead and get STRI. How am I gonna do that? Well, take a look at this. A, square bracket, colon, and then the number Four. Before I hit enter, I want you guys to figure out the index position of I. All right. S is zero. T is one. R is two. I is three. N is four. Now think about that for a second. I said I want you to return S T R I. All right. I is the third index position. N is the fourth. So you'd be thinking to yourself, why doesn't it return N if I'm putting in four? It always returns the index position prior to the index, the ending index position that we provide. And this only happens in ending index, all right? So it's always an index position prior to the ending index position we provide. All right, hit return, S-T-R-I. There we go. All right. <clears throat> now, how about if we provide a starting point? And an ending point. So I'm just going to bring up that string again, like that. And we're going to go ahead and do a square brackets, two colon five square brackets. There we go. Now I'm getting a two. So my starting point is two. So I go zero, one, two, starts at R. Okay. So we got R. And then my ending point's five. So let's go zero, one, two, three, four. Five. All right. Like I said, the ending point always ends one index position prior to what is indicated. So if you're trying to get n, you always got to add one to it. All right. So that is the ending index. Um, how about if we wanted to get ahead and 
skip some characters. And what I mean by that is say I want to go ahead and get S R N. So I want to skip every other character. Well, let's take a look at that. I'm going to throw up string again. And we're going to go ahead and do A square brackets colon colon two square bracket. All right. So we saw what one colon did. On the left side of the first col uh, colon is the starting index point. On the right side of the first colon is the ending index point. And then we throw another colon in there. And that says, hey, if it's a positive number, how many uh, positions should we skip and slice there? Now, if it's a negative number, we'll look at that next. I don't want to confuse you yet. Hit return. I get SRN. That's what we wanted, right? SRN. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happens if we do um, just put one here instead of two. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my string again and do A square brackets colon colon one square bracket. Hit return. I get the whole thing because I am not skipping anything when I put one in there. All right, so one is actually the fault. So if we didn't put anything in there, we'll take that out and hit return. There we go. The fault is uh, one. And since I don't think I've mentioned it, the fault on the starting index is the start of the string. The fault on the ending index is the end of the string. And the fault on the skipping position, I don't know what the technical term that is, is going to be uh, one. All right. Um, now what happens if we throw a negative number in here on the, uh, I'm just going to refer to it as the skipping index. I can't think of the name of the technical term. What it's going to do is return a reverse string to us. So let's go ahead and clear our, whoop, clear our screen, command K. Um, so let's go ahead and what I said, we're going to return it. So I'm going to bring up string again. Oh, reverse it. I mean, A square bracket, colon, colon, negative one, square bracket. Now we hit return, and there we go. We got a, re a um, reverse string. How about if we want to go ahead and skip while returning it in reverse? We can do that as well. You could also slice it um, as well in the return with skips. So there we go. We got git. Um, we could also do something like this, a square bracket, col uh, let's do a one, uh, I'm just throwing something out there, colon six, colon three, square bracket, return, I get TN. All right, so how do we get TN there? Um, so we're taking T. I'm drawing a blank real quick. All right, so we skipped from one. We skipped zero. There we go. We skipped zero, and we got T. And then we skip two index positions, and we get N. And then the end, it doesn't skip any further, so it returns that to us. All right, so we're skipping from T. The index position starts here. Since we got T, zero, one, two, three, returns that, and then... Obviously, the end of the string can't return anything else. So if you guys have any questions on how to slice, reverse, or dice up strings, let us know at Master Code Online. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next series of tutorials where we start talking about string methods. Have a lovely evening.